How can any game that opens with a scream be all bad? This is World Championship Soccer on the Sega Genesis. Choose your country, I'll be the United States of America, because I can't be Atlantis. They have a great soccer team, you just never hear of them because they don't exist. One of the cool things about this game, in addition to the awesome music, is the fact that you can select your team members and use a bit of strategy, although in uh, all practicality, they're really not all that different. What makes a major difference is your team. If you want to win games, you just choose Brazil. If it's one kind of video game that you can count on to lose value quickly, it's a sports game. There's many, many sports games out there for the Sega Genesis. This one is interesting because it's not an EA title for one thing. It's a Sega produced game. It doesn't even have a date on it. It's just World Championship Soccer. It's a bright, colorful, light, fun, happy game. And it doesn't have any annoying penalties. I'll be the first to admit this was a lot more fun back in the day than it is now. For one thing, the playing field is extremely small. The playing field that you see on screen, the field itself actually feels quite large. When you get control of the ball, you can pass it, shoot it, or, or kick it down the field. When the opposing team gets close to your goal, it does take you by surprise and shift control to your goalie. It's not my fault, it's his fault. USA versus USSR. That's like a screen from War Games or something. I see West Germany is in here too. Yet they forgot Atlantis because it really had not been discovered yet in 1989. I'll take the liberty of drawing it in here so that uh, we know the game at least is up to date and current. You note that each of the countries has different skills. I'm not sure how they calculated those skills. The skills for the Atlantis soccer team are not in there since I just, uh, you know, added that to the game now. Although I hear they're wicked good at swimming. Which doesn't do them much good at soccer unless they submerge the entire soccer field with their water ray guns. Which they're known to do when they're, when they're angry. They're sore losers. But how can anyone be upset with music this fun and uplifting? Note the ads on the side of the field, by the way. The controls aren't god-awful, and this might not be a game that you really want to pick up today if you've never played World Championship Soccer. It's not like Sonic the Hedgehog or one of those games that you have to play on the Sega Genesis. It's an interesting game, and if you played this back in 1989, you might enjoy playing it today. I found this game cartridge for the wallet-crushing price of $1. It is a lot better than the Atari 2600 soccer games I played previously, but nowhere near as good as the Virtua Striker games. Hey, I scored a goal! That's a lot better than I ever did in real soccer. Stupid real-life soccer. The controls were terrible. <laughs> 